Hey guys, thanks for joining us on today's video where we're going to be unboxing and setting up the Pixmax 720 vinyl cutter machine. So we're going to take this right from the start. So you're going to see us taking it out of the box, setting it up, putting the blade in, etc, etc. So here I come with the box. It's pretty heavy. But I'm making it look like light work here. Uh, so you just want to drop your box down somewhere where you've got some space around you. So we're just going to pull our vinyl cutting machine out and just plop it on the side there. So we're just going to take our polystyrene pieces off the side of the cutting machine now. Just plop them down at the side. And then we're just going to take the plastic bag off as, as well. So you've got a piece of plastic here holding the cutting tray in place. So we're just going to trim that away very carefully. And then you've got two cable ties underneath that secure it in place too. So we're just going to trim them away, making sure we don't scratch our vinyl cutter. So pulling up with the scissors and not pressing down. And then we'll just get rid of them out of the way. Okay, so now we're going to put our blade into the housing. So I'm just going to plug my cutter in first and switch it on just so that the, the blade holder goes right to the side. So it would help if I switched it on at the wall. So there you go. You can see it shoot over to the right hand side there. So I'm also going to plug my USB cable in now and then just set it at the back ready for when we set it up to our computer shortly. Okay, so we open this up, we've got three blades and they've got a little red holder over the blade to stop it, stop you from cutting yourself. So take that off first and then you unscrew your housing from the blade holder. Put it down on the side and then insert your blade into the end. And then you put your blade housing back on. So you just screw that up and then you'll see you've got a little gold screw at the end which will enable you to make it nice and tight. So you just want your blade sticking out by a couple of millimetres from the end and then you screw your little gold thing up and it holds it nice and secure. So now we're going to unscrew our gold screw on the vinyl cutter machine that you just seen me doing there. We're going to put our blade in and then we're just going to tighten that back up. Tighten it so it's nice and secure because what we don't want is the blade coming loose as it's cutting. Uh, because it obviously won't cut correctly. Okay, so now we come to our control panel. So you can see you've got four arrows, left and right, and you've got up and down. You've also got a reset button here. So if you do ever put something in, you realize you haven't got the force correctly, you can press the reset button and it'll stop what it's doing and bring it back over to the side. And then you can put your settings back in. Okay, so you're gonna get your t-shirt vinyl ready now. So you can see you've got your dull side which is the back and you've got your shiny bright pink side which is the plastic cover. So you've got your three holding feet here on the back of the cutting machine. So these will hold your vinyl in place whilst it's cutting. So you can see that you can move these around, usually space them out evenly uh, for the piece of vinyl you're putting in. So if you put in a large piece in you'd put them like I've got them here. A small piece should obviously have them closer together. So you can see how easy they just clip down. That holds it in place now, nice and firm. And then when you're finished, you just pull them back up like so. So now we're going to put our piece of vinyl in. So if I just push this in, always shiny side down, because obviously that's our plastic. So then I'm just going to put my three holding foot down there, being mindful that I don't put one over that white marker there. And then that's now ready to cut. Okay, so now we want to install sign cut onto our laptop. So you'll get a sign cut bundle code with your vinyl cutting machine. Okay, so now we're ready to plug our vinyl cutting machine into the computer. So this will be set to the specific port that we plug it into. So after we've installed this, then we go back to sign cut and we'll see which port is on the screen. 
and it should be that one so this is just showing us now see we've plugged it in it's showing us that it's installing that and it's going to get it ready for us you will need to be connected to the internet for this step or that little message won't come up so just make sure that you're connected to the internet before you do this step again this just takes a few moments and then you'll see another message pop up on here there it is device is ready and set up and ready to go so now we know our cutter is now configured to that port that we've plugged it into it will only work on the port that we've plugged it into so if you plug it into a different one and you wonder why it's not working it's because the settings are set to that port so we're just going to write some text here just to show you how this works so if i just write a word like hello grab my move tool at the top there so i can go in actually and change the font if i wanted to first you can see the stacks of fonts in there grab my little move tool at the top and then i can resize it just so that we can see what we're doing so for t-shirt vinyl it would need to be mirrored so i'm going to create a path first so path object to path that makes the text cuttable and then i'm just going to use my little icon that i just touched there and just mirror that image so then i go to extensions export and then i just selected sign cut pro 2. And then you'll see the little icon comes on the bottom there so i just select the icon and then sign cut pro will show so I select my scissors on the left hand side of the screen and then I just select cut out from this screen when I'm happy it's what I want to, to be cutting. So you'll see the vinyl cutter will start moving instantly as long as we've got it set up correctly. So you can see it's cutting our design out here and it will always do a weed box around it when it's finished. See it slightly. So if I just put that down on the side we're now ready to weed it. So I'm just going to trim it down slightly first with my scissors and then I'm just going to grab my picking tweezers out of the pot and then just push it up from the corner of our, our weed box that it drew and you'll see how nice and easily this comes away. So it's high tack this vinyl so it will stick uh, our design down still so you don't need to worry about pulling the letters off they will stay in place so i just picked the two parts out of the center of the e and the o here and then what i want to do now is just trim the excess vinyl away from the outside just being super careful that i don't leave any of the pink around the outside because that will then go to our t-shirt and we don't want that so once this is trimmed down it's now ready to put onto our t-shirt so this is our sticky side and then when I turn it over that's the side that we'll actually see. So that's the pink that will be actually on our t-shirt. Okay so the heat press is now switched on so I'm just going to put a t-shirt on there. Make sure it's nice and straight. Just push any creases or bumps out. So now I'm just going to give it a quick pre-press. I'm just going to press it down and hold it in place. This will take any creases out of the t-shirt and any moisture as well that's in the t-shirt. So then I can put my design onto the t-shirt. So I just want to cover this now with a Teflon sheet. And then we're ready to press. A nice firm press just for 15 seconds with this particular vinyl. Whichever vinyl you use will give you some guidelines on how long you need to press it for. They all can be slightly different, so just read that before you press your vinyl. So this is warm peel vinyl, so we just peel it straight off. If it was cool peel vinyl, we'd let it cool down before we peeled it off. So you can see that it's gone on there lovely. This vinyl is really good quality and you barely actually feel it on the t-shirt. You can also wash this vinyl up to 60 degrees and also tumble dry it. So that's your installation of your Pixmax 720 vinyl cutter. We hope you enjoyed the video. So if you're looking to start your own print business and you haven't yet bought a vinyl cutting machine, we do actually sell business startup packages on our website. So a business startup package like this one, that $17.95 would come with your equipment, your training and your support. So you'd get all the equipment you see there. 
so the main reason people come to us is you get your equipment you also get full training and then you get after sales support to help you on your journey what you'll also get when you come to us is a cup of tea whilst we're doing the training you might even get a sneaky biscuit so this is our training suite you can see lots of different products you can make some clothing there some sublimation blanks so you can see lots of sublimation blanks there some of the different items and then this is our training suite where the training is done so you'll see some of the different equipment that we have in here for people to use and test out so thanks for watching the video guys please give us a like on facebook twitter and instagram and like and subscribe to this video you can also go online and take a look at some of our stuff at www.starttoprint.co.uk. Thanks a lot, guys. Goodbye.